You can't just you tap the to, side. Okay, you have to go, okay. You have to tap it like okay, that, go, okay? okay. Alright, you ready for this? Yeah, go. Okay. Bit. That's not fair. Do it properly. Go. <laughs> you gotta get like that. Yeah, you can't just you tap the to... side. Okay, okay. You have to go, okay. You have to tap it like okay, that, go, okay? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to go through and tell you as new parents what to expect. There's some things you need to be warned about. Hey. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. So let's get to it. Okay. The first thing to be warned about is wash your hands always. You never know what you're going to lick off your fingers. Do you remember that time in the hospital? Yeah, I think he was just born. As a few, yeah, it was a few days before. <laughs> no, a few days after he was born. Yeah. So our Nems bought me chocolate chip biscuits, and it was a bit dim because, like, you know, we were like, it's like in the middle of the night, and I was trying to lick off the chocolate off my fingers, thinking it was the chocolate off the chocolate chip biscuit, but, <laughs> but really it was the baby's poo. <laughs> and um, the funny thing was, we're all tired. She was tired, and. Um, yeah, I started laughing hard out, so she, she wasn't in a great mood, but um, it kind of lightened the room because <laughs> we, we spoke about it never happening and funny enough, I think it happened. 48 hours into baby being born, um, <laughs> she's licked off his poo. So. Yeah, because you know babies, like newborn's poo is like black, so yeah. you know in the dark. Hello, I didn't know. And it was like dry. It was like on my finger and I was like trying to lick it off. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's the definition of mother-son bonding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the next one. Okay. Never place your important or expensive items below the change table because baby might happen to pee on. Oh, I remember this one. So we just moved over here um, and uh, Kim was changing baby's nappy. And I think it was one of... Uh, it was, it a, was your bag, I yeah, think. Yeah, it was one of my... Um, it was a Louis Vuitton bag, to be, to be exact. And uh, I just left it there, not thinking anything. Anyway, our son of ours um, actually pissed that far and it landed on the bag. Of, where it stained. Yeah, where, where it stained, like a leather bit. And anyway, so... I'm watching TV and Kim's just screaming, going, <laughs> like as if something was wrong with the baby. Like I couldn't, I, I literally raced up and she was like, go get a towel, go get a towel. She was so annoyed at him, I think. You were really annoyed. Not at him. Oh. I was just annoyed because it was left at the bottom of the table. Yeah, well, I didn't think he was going to piss that far, but good effort. It was at least a good effort. It was meter. like, Yum. So, and like right exactly on that spot of the line of the leather that gets like that stains that was pretty So if funny. you guys know what Louis Vuitton bags, there's only like certain parts that are leather Leather, yeah, and happened to be on that one. So that was pretty cool. That was uh, well, it was pretty funny at the time But um, <laughs> it wasn't cool. Yeah, Kim was like stressing out again. I was like, oh <laughs> As long as, as long as baby's healthy, it doesn't more that matter. But oh, yeah. listen, listen, we changed his nappy, which is the most important thing. Oh yeah, hey. Yeah. yeah. No, it was actually funny in, in the end. Okay, so what are we up to? The third one. Try get sufficient sleep because you may get confused with whose bottle you're drinking or you might pour orange juice into your coffee instead of milk. Yeah, for, for starters, for new parents, sleep, sufficient sleep is... is it's a must. Yeah, but it's but hard to try. come by. It's the, it's a luxury for us now. Um, but yeah, that time you got confused. What did you put in your? No, like because like you know how Nos. So Nems' brother Nos, he always makes me coffee in the morning, yeah. and he brings it up and he puts it next to my bedside table. So when I'm when I wake up, it's there. So I woke up and I went to grab the coffee because it's in a like a takeaway cup, like a plastic cup. Um, I went to grab it, so it's plastic, the baby's bottle's plastic, and I grabbed the baby's bottle and put it in my mouth instead. Yeah, that was... 
I don't know if that was tiredness or just stupidity. <laughs> We'll leave, that to, we'll leave that for you guys to debate. <laughs> and then there was another time when I came downstairs and I went to put orange juice. Because you know like cartons, milk cartons? Yeah. Because we ran out of the, um, the glass bottles of milk. So I went and grabbed the box carton and I went to pour it into my coffee and it was orange juice. Well, you live and you learn, I guess. <laughs> you live and you learn. Okay, next one. Make sure to... This is yours. Oh, yeah. Make sure to read manuals of assembling baby equipment because you can't get away with it if you don't know. Yeah, so as you know, well, all fathers or men out there, if there's an easy way to do something, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll probably take that route. But um, I think there was one time I put baby's cot together and um, so like the, what's that stuff around it? So like it's around the cot. Oh, the cu cushion? No, like the guards. The guard guards. Oh, the guards, yeah. Anyway, so what I did was I put it the other way around. So rather than having a circle shape, it looked like a, a jagged edge. <laughs> and, um, I was like to Kim, nah, that's, look, it's fine. And that's how it's supposed yeah, to look. You weren't supposed to And she was like, no, no, no. It was like this. When I, mind you, it took me two hours to do. <laughs> like all around the court. And so I'm trying to, you know, defend myself. But, um... Yeah, and we looked at the railing and I was like, well, it is my son's life. If it, if it was mine or Kim's, I would have just been like, yep, that's fine. But uh, I had to take everything back apart. That took ages. And put it together. So what time. would have taken a two hour or one hour job ended up taking me four and a half hours. So if anyone knows um, assembling stuff like, for instance, Ikea, this was a similar stuff. So yeah. Make sure to just read the manual and if it and takes... And look at the pictures. And yeah, look at the pictures. And if it takes two hours, yeah, take two hours. Take your time. No, don't take the easy way out like I did <laughs> on a lot of occasions. Okay, so next one. Get ready way in advance, like two hours earlier. Because you'll need to pack the nursery into your baby bag and prepare the car just to go grocery shopping. Yeah, this one's a tough one because for like... Well, for men, for fathers out there, we only take, what, two minutes to get ready, you know, we just hop in the shower, boom. So, whereas for the ladies, um, and that's, it takes a long time. Yeah, it takes a long time. And then, and then you've still got to do the baby's uh, bag. bag, which is like half the room that we've got to then pack. Then change them before we leave. And then, we'll, we'll, And then dress them before yeah, we leave. Dress them before we leave, ch change it, change it. Yeah. Uh, fill his bottles up. Fill his bottles up. And it's funny because sometimes just before we leave, he would have wet his nappy and we got to change it. We're just like, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. So, um. There's no room for being like late, sort of thing. Like, you've got to get prepared way in advance because there's just, there's always something, one thing after another. And then you get to the car and you're like, oh, I forgot the pram in the house. Yeah. And, yeah. So, preparation is key. I think it's, it's with everything, I guess, but um, I think we sort of. Messed around with it and we got a bit too comfortable. So now yeah. before we go out, we have to we actually we have to plan yeah, we have when to we plan. go out a few days before. So yeah. um, it's kind of good because then we can sort of like we get excited for it, even if it's just going to the pub for lunch and you know getting out of the house. Like that for us is kind of like a big thing for us now, which is uh, which is good. Time for change, down the I guess. Road. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> but you still got a plan. Yeah. Still definitely got a plan for the yeah. little guy. <laughs> okay. So the next one is, oh, this is for me. Do not do relaxing exercises like yoga or meditation on your yoga mat or else you'll fall asleep. Oh, yes. I don't know, this happened to me as well. Yeah. I, I was in the, the bedroom and because I didn't want to leave him, he was, uh, Ethan was a bit unsettled. So I put the yoga mat next to the bed in front of the door and I was doing my exercises. And then after my exercises, because they were a bit physical, I did the relaxation, you know, the cool down, and I literally fell asleep. And then I woke up to Nems like opening the door on me, like, what are you doing on the floor? Yeah, that's, um, that's happened to me as well. Yeah, when did it happen to you? Um, well, it wasn't more so of a workout. I think you went out for coffee with a friend of yours and uh, me and the little guy was, and I said to myself, I'm not gonna sleep, I'm not gonna sleep. So we put on a movie and I fell asleep and he was awake the whole time and um, I didn't tell you this, so uh, you're the first to find out, like everyone else. Hey! But, um, 
But the good thing was Rocky saved me, a uh, big dog, and uh, I think he kind of sensed that, um, you know, old mate was uh, crying, my little man was crying, and so he just needed to change the nappy. But it's okay, no one was harmed. And, Did um, Rocky wake you up? Yeah, Rocky pulled oh, me. Oh, bless. So. Rocky's such a good boy. Yeah, so, um, yeah, try to stay awake. It is hard, it's not easy, but... Um, you get really tired, hey. The joys of parenthood, I guess. You know, sometimes you just hit a wall. Like, I always hit a wall after I eat. Like, I'll eat, <laughs> and then I just want to sleep straight away. I think that was me before baby came. <laughs> I've always wanted to school oh, yeah, food coma. That's yeah. always you. But now I'm getting the yeah, same. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So. Oh, the last one. This is your one. Yeah. Never lick anything off your shirt or your hoodie. Um, Nem thought he was licking off yogurt off his shirt, but really? No, it was ice cream. I had ice cream. Oh, I thought it was yogurt. Or maybe it was frozen. It was yogurt. like at breakfast or something. Yeah. Like I think it was. No. Yeah. You made pancakes. Oh yeah. So that no, was with ice, ice cream. cream. Because, yeah. um, low fat ice cream, by the way. Yeah. yeah see, even baby's saying. So um, I just held him and he, he vomited on me. Like you put it went like down here. And yeah, then but you it was actually it... got down. And, I, and then I dropped the ice cream at the same time, but it was on the opposite side anyway. So I went to lick it and it just yeah. stunk. So, um, and then. It stunk. It tasted sour. Yeah, you I know, were like, like, yeah. Yeah, and then. But not knowing that the ice cream stain was on the total opposite side, so yeah, just be aware when um, you know you drop some food and that it's not you know the bodily fluids from your son. Uh, but he was laughing out of it, which is good and uh, well, not good for me, but put a smile on his face. Oh. Um, so now I'm hesitant every time. He spewed on me a few times, um, he spewed on heaps actually, but yeah. it's actually um, you know, as soon as he spews on me, I'm very hesitant and you know now yeah i'm focused and making sure that i yeah. wipe it off so you weren't concentrating then you're like uh, oh yeah yeah I'm, yeah so <laughs> he's yeah. Um, taught us a lot of things along the way and, yeah um yeah is there anything you want to add in anything that you can think of that we you also want to give advice on not advice but not like advice, just a heads up just a heads up um do whatever you need to do to get asleep in the house so i know parents always say look Put your kids in the cot, put your kids in the, in, you know, make sure they learn. But like for us, you know, I'm started training again. I'm obviously back in the season with my club. And so now we've got a, a sleeping routine where Kim and baby sleeps on the bed um, and I sleep on the couch. So look, everyone's going to say, you know, that's not good. That's not that. But listen, every baby's different. Everyone's different, and if it works for you, you do what works for you. We only just started that, by the way. Yeah, we only just started that, but hey, if it means I get six hours sleep, I get to go to work and put in the effort. And these guys, that, yeah, baby, baby, these guys actually sleep in, which is I'm jealous of. But, we slept until nine today. Yeah, yeah, I know. There you go. So here I'm up at six in the morning going, but. Um, and yeah. don't worry, he's safe. Like I make sure it's. Safe. Oh yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Just in case anyone um, wants to say that it's not. <laughs> yeah, but hey, listen, you know, and yeah, just do what works for you guys. I mean, we're 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 learning. We're new parents, you know. As long as you he's got a full stomach and he's got clothes on his back, then you don't yeah. mind being uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and for the new for the new fathers out there. And have you guys seen our couch? Like, um, it yeah. is really not. No, but it's comfortable, comfortable to sleep on. It, well, it? not to sit on, but not to, but to sleep on. It's got like hard edges of what no, your hand, feet no. hang over the edge. You make, no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't. <laughs> you make do. Um, and yeah, for fathers, get used to the word uncomfortable because uh, everything you do, it's going to be uncomfortable. uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's worth it. I mean, I, I'm, I was, it was tough eh, when we first moved over. Yeah. Um, but just looking, seeing him, you know, grow and, and you know, become a healthy young baby. It's it you know, puts smiles on your face. What? Um, oh. Well, sorry, that's Rocky on a dog treat. <laughs> so, with, as you probably can hear in the background, everyone's um, in and around us. So, yeah. Oh, there you go. There's Kimber there staring. I think she wants to be in the camera. Um, but yeah. So, no. I think you know we covered it and just yeah, just enjoy. Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, so many funny things will happen. Exactly. And that you, you just be like, why why did I do that? Or why did that happen? Yeah. You know, but it's really funny. And enjoy the experience. I yeah. think, you know, we 
you know, like I said, we, we don't have our family here. It's just the two of us. So we're, we, you know, we're new parents, but you know, we do a lot of reading on, on, you know, on, on, on being a parent and, you know, there's a lot of trial and error, but at the end of the day, as long as the baby's healthy and, you know, we're doing the best that we can be, then, you yeah. know, th there's, don't let anyone tell you you're a bad parent. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. oh. <laughs> don't worry guys, Rocky's just choking on, <laughs> on the trees. They're going to probably think we don't bloody feed Rocky, them. you have to chew it. Yeah, I know. They don't, okay. they're going to think we're not feeding them. Oh <laughs> gosh. No, they, he just ate by the way. Yeah, they, they've got, they haven't their dessert now. Yeah. So. All right, so we'll leave it at that. And um, we're going to say bye for now. Like, subscribe, and bye. Yeah, bye-bye.